today we will learn the following concepts related to comparison of quantities. This box contain 18 red balls and 6 white balls. If you are asked to compare their numbers, then how would you do it? To compare these, we can say that the number of red balls is more than the number of white balls. But such statements do not give us a sense of numbers. In such a way that here number of red balls is 18 minus 6 is equal to 12 more than the number of white balls. Similarly, we can also compare them by division such as number of red balls divided by number of white balls. We can also write this as 18 divided by 6 from which we get 3 divided by 1 as a fraction. This tells us that the number of red balls is 3 times the number of white balls. Comparison of two quantities as how many times is called as ratio. In this way, we can say that the ratio of number of red balls to number of white balls is equal to 3 is to 1, which means there are 3 red balls compared to 1 white ball. Like the ratio, we can also compare it in a percentage. Like here, we see that total balls are 18 plus 6 is equal to 24. In 24, 18 are red balls. In this way, we can say that in box, red balls are 18 divided by 24 parts of total balls. That is, in box, red balls are 18 divided by 24 multiplied by 100% is equal to 3 divided by 4 multiplied by 100% is equal to 75%. Similarly, we see that there are 6 white balls in 24 balls. That is, white balls are 6 divided by 24 multiplied by 100% is equal to 1 divided by 4 multiplied by 100% is equal to 25%. Keep in mind that in both situations, we have used the unitary method. Remember that this percent sign represents a percentage that is 1 divided by 100. In this way, when we say 100%, it means 100 multiplied by 1 divided by 100 is equal to 1. So, there is no change in the value of the number and we can express the number in percentage. It is not necessary that we must know the numbers to express in percentage. But we can also get the percentage with the help of ratio. For example, here the ratio of number of red balls to the number of white balls is 3 is to 1. From this, we get to know that in every 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 balls, there are 3 red balls and 1 white ball. In this way, we can say that in the box, red balls are 3 by 4 multiplied by 100% is equal to 75%. And the box contains 1 divided by 4 multiplied by 100% is equal to 25% white balls. We can also do this in another way. Since the box contains 75% red balls, that's why the box contains 100% minus 75% is equal to 25% white balls. In this way, we have obtained a percentage from ratio. Now, we can compare that in the box, there are 75% red balls and 25% white balls. Let's know about percentage increase and percentage decrease. In the box, there are total 24 balls. After putting some white balls, the total number of balls increased to 36. In this way, the total number of balls increased by 36 minus 24 is equal to 12. 
that is 12 extra balls were kept since the original number has increased so we will take the original number as base thus the, the percentage increase will be increase divided by original number multiplied by 100% here 12 divided by 24 multiplied by 100% is equal to 1 by 2 multiplied by 100% is equal to 50%. This tells us that the total number of balls has increased by 50%. Now, out of total 24 balls in the box, we have removed 6 red balls. So now, the total number of balls is 18. That is, now the number of balls has decreased by 6 balls. In this way, we can say that the percentage decrease in the number of balls is 6 divided by 24 multiplied by 100% is equal to 1 divided by 4 multiplied by 100% is equal to 25%. Sometimes, we need to guess a rough percentage. Under such circumstances, understanding of estimation helps us. We will understand this in the next video. Today we have learned the following concepts related to comparison of quantities.